Danny, let's start with the thoughts of uh, how is Kabi Shimanga? We don't know at the moment. Obviously, he went and he's gone to the hospital with an ambulance. Uh, we've been told he'll be there for an hour or two because there's not many people there, so they can get in and, and see what they need to see, and then he'll obviously come back with us after. Uh, doesn't look good. Doesn't look a good. Doesn't look good at all. Happened. I, I think you saw it was a completely reckless challenge. Uh, certain lads are saying they've they've seen different things, you know, uh, down down the lad's leg. But until we get an assessment from it, you know, people sometimes in the heat of the moment say things they saw and all oh, this and that, and hopefully, well, we know he's in obviously the, the right hands at the minute to, to to give a good assessment of the lad. Uh, so I'm sure everyone's thoughts are with him, and obviously yeah, we are all hoping and, and praying that for him and himself it's not that serious, but at the moment it doesn't look great. Is it a, a, a broken leg, broken ankle, dislocation? I don't know. That would be the, that would obviously be the worst case scenario, and we're hoping it's not that. Dan, thoughts on the, the game overall, how did you see? I thought it was a horrible game of football. Uh, I thought uh, it was just a horrible game of football. I think we, the gaffer said at half time it would you know it could be a one niller. You know, we've got to grind things out, but have a bit of a better structure behind the ball, uh, which he's which he, he keeps talking about and something that I think I'm really look, looking forward to seeing how he implements that in training next week. Could it you know it makes sense what he's saying? Uh, and if we kept that structure, we'd get a chance and we'd probably score it, which we did. In the end, it was a, a slip and a mistake and they've gone through and Grimes, he makes the block and you think, oh, we've, we've got away with it. And then they put it in and then, then you're thinking, OK, three or four minutes to go, will we get another chance? We did. Sadly, we, we didn't put that away. Uh, and I think it's one of those, you, without being you know too down about it, you want to get on the coach now, get cabs and, and get back to Chesterfield. But we come here, we've got a point, we joint top. Is that... Is that you know stuff you want to start singing and dancing about? No, uh, but as I say, we're joint top of the league, and we're all just thinking, we're just hoping and praying that Cabs is okay. Yeah, obviously, um, two big chances in the first ten minutes as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if they go in, you feel it could have been a different story. Yeah, I think it could be two 0 Second half, you know, we, we go, we go one up. That could be three. Chance in could be four. And we had that chance. I think that they scored. I thought we defended set pieces really well. Defended the box well. Some of the, the sort of horrible stuff around the box, we did well. Our play wasn't particularly fantastic. The pitch was very bobbly. It was very windy. You know, there's lots of excuses and reasons we can give. At the end of the day, it, it was one of those games where we have to come away uh, with something. We got something. We'd have loved it to be the win. But with the circumstances, I think it's just you take the point and, and pick cabs up and go home. Alex Whittle breaking into the penalty area as well with another another fine strike as well for his second goal of the season. Yeah, and you know he's he's a he's a soldier. He does some good stuff. And there were some good performances out there in in sort of you know old-fashioned ways. There were some good performances. Uh, I think the disappointment is you go one 0 up and you see the game out, or you go two 0 and go three 0 But you know to, the last kick of the game to, to go one all. It's uh, yeah, it's a sickener. But as I say, tomorrow's a new day. Gaffer's got a week now on the training ground with the players and myself, so we can all get used to how he wants things to be done. Big game at home against Soliol next week, so I urge everyone to come out and cheer us on. The team and the squad are a strong unit. Do you think they were affected by Cabby's injury? I think at the time, yes. You can see it quite quite visibly. You know, and it's always it's not nice when people from the home crowd are telling him to get up and get on with it. And those lads have, have seen it up close in the tackle. It's you know, it's, we just, but the Gaffer come down and said, look, you know, so lads, just keep calm, just keep calm. We've got the lead and. We'll deal with this after, let it not affect you. And, you know, I don't think it affected the result. I think it was a mistake. And, you know, the manager said we're just a little bit too open when uh, when they broke through there after the mistake. He said, you know, he's been really positive in there. Everyone makes mistakes. He hasn't slaughtered them. He hasn't gone mad. He's been really positive. I'm going, look, it's a horrible day for different reasons. Let's get on the coach and have a good day's training, a good week's training, sorry, next week. Did you feel it was worthy of a yellow card considering Jeff King got sent off the other day? That's a red card. Yeah, it's a red card. I mean, if, if Jeff King's a red card, it's a red card. You know, I have no doubt the lad got the ball. Uh, and if he gets sent off, does that make Cabs' leg better? No, it doesn't. It's, you know, so it's not like a tit for tat, but it's just a little bit of consistency. But, you know, at the moment, that's not on our minds, red card or not. It's uh, it's just hope that hope the lad's not as bad as first thought. And final word on, really, the numbers of supporters that have made the trip down as well. It's a long way. Didn't stop singing. Uh, even at the end there, the disappointment with the last minute equaliser, cheered all the lads off. The boys always go over and clap them because we do appreciate the long way they've come and they have got so much to look forward to for this end running because we're going to be right up there giving it a go and if they keep backing us, I think we're going to get over the line.
And is it exciting for next week as well? You've got a full week's worth of training with the new gaffer. Yeah, brilliant. As I said, since he's come in, he's been so welcome to all, to me, all the staff. Asked our opinions, really values what we're saying, and that means a lot when a new manager comes in. Uh, and, and what's good today, he's cast his eye over the, over the team, the squad, the players, and he'll get to know those players more and on the training ground next week, they'll get to know him more. So, yeah, we're all really looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Dan.